there, my curious friends. Welcome to another exciting adventure with me, Patch the Narrator. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of gravity. So, why does everything on Earth stay firmly on the ground? Well, let me tell you a fascinating story. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a planet called Gravius. On Gravius, everything was topsy-turvy. Instead of falling to the ground, objects flew up into the sky. Can you imagine that? People had to hold on to trees and buildings to prevent themselves from floating away. But the Gravians were incredibly clever. They built special devices called anti-gravitizers to keep everything grounded. These devices emitted a force called gravity, which pulled things down towards the surface of Gravius. One day, a young Gravian inventor named Nova set out on a mission to understand gravity. She wanted to unravel its secrets and bring peace to her planet. Nova's journey took her through forests, mountains and even into the depths of the ocean. As Nova explored, she discovered that every object with mass has gravity. The larger the object, the stronger its gravity. That's why a basketball pulls you towards it when you drop it. But a tiny grain of sand doesn't have enough gravity to do the same. After years of research, Nova finally created a device called the Graviton Scanner. This incredible invention allowed her to measure the strength of gravity on different planets. She realised that gravity varies depending on the size and mass of a planet. Armed with this knowledge, Nova returned to Gravius and shared her findings with her fellow Gravians. They built better anti-gravitizers and brought stability to their topsy-turvy world. And that, my friends, is why we have gravity on Earth. It keeps us grounded and prevents us from floating away like the Gravians of Gravius. So, the next time you drop a ball or jump in the air, remember the amazing force called gravity that keeps us all firmly on the ground. I hope you enjoyed our gravity-filled adventure today. Stay curious, my little scientists. Mm -hmm.